it's Jen welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Costco haul so it has been a hot minute since I have done a Costco haul uh, I don't know that I've been there in like hmm it might be going on like four or five months and I can tell because we are currently out of toilet paper we have a roll in every bathroom in our house uh, but no backups <laughs> so I need toilet paper and paper towels and a lot of other things that I normally get here that I haven't got in a long time. So I'm excited to go because I love Costco and um, it's just not always that convenient for me to get here because even though it's in the same town where I work, it's still about 45 minutes from my house and I have to do a little bit of coordination to come here after work. Obviously it takes a little bit of time, but today is a Friday and I have a little bit of extra time. so. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I also have my rewards check from uh, 2018. So I'm gonna be using that. I think I want to get a Ninja. Is that what it's called? A Ninja or a Nutra Bullet? I don't know, whatever the blender is that you stick in and it um, blends like a smoothie. Uh, I've had smaller size blenders before and they've all broke so I want to get like a good quality one so yeah I'm gonna look for that and a bunch of other stuff and then when I get home I'll show you what I got all right so it is a bit later we went out and had supper um, I just went ahead and left everything in the back of my SUV because it is cold here um, in the Midwest it is 34 degrees so everything stayed cold so I just brought it all inside and I spent um, so the total was $660, but I had a check, <coughs> Murphy, so I had a $280 reward check, and then, here's Murphy, sit down, would you like a treat? Get up, oh, you need to calm down. Please hold, I'm going to give Murphy a treat. Sit. There you go. Um... So before I was so rudely interrupted, I the total was $660. I had a $280 reward check. Also, I had a return for $35. So the total that I spent out of pocket was about $350, which I'm pretty happy with uh, for all of these things. I ended up getting some groceries, but mostly household items. So let me show you what I got for $660. All right, so first I will show you the groceries that I got. Um, I actually don't like to get a whole lot of groceries at Costco. I get a few different staples, but by and large, the reason why I like to have a Costco membership is for the household items and for electronics. So like this past year, the reason why we kind of built up so many rewards is because Adam and I both um, bought new laptops for ourselves. And also we bought a TV um, from Costco for our living room, which is right there, which we like very much. Uh, but that that's to me why I like having a Costco membership. I feel like if it was closer to my house, I mean, like I said before, it's 45 minutes from my house. I feel like if it was closer and more convenient, I would buy a lot more groceries there, but since it's not, I don't. So I still feel like it's valuable for me, but that's just kind of just my feedback on the whole issue. But I did pick up uh, two bottles of this Prosecco. Uh, this is really good for if you like champagne, like if you like making uh, mimosas, uh, like we do sometimes on the weekends. I like to stock up on it when I go there because this is only $6.99 a bottle. And I realize it's Prosecco, but you can use it the same as you would champagne. We like to mix it with um, orange juice for mojito, or not mojitos, for mimosas. Um, so I went ahead and got two bottles of that. I'm also going to go ahead and apologize for my nails in advance because as you can see, I am long overdue for a, <laughs> for a manicure. I'm hoping to get that done tomorrow, so we'll see. I got one bottle of the uh, Kirkland American Vodka. Uh, this is what we like to use for cocktails if we make Moscow Mules or any other cocktail with vodka in it. Um, I've actually been told that this Kirkland brand is, is actually Grey Goose and it actually is really good vodka. This whole bottle is $15.99 which is a huge deal if you um, like to keep vodka in your liquor cabinet. I also got a package of the Stonefire Mini Non-Breads. 
I like to have these on hand for mini pizzas and then also I like to eat them with hummus. So if there are any that we don't use by the expiration date, I can put those in the freezer and they freeze really well. I got a three pack of the Kirkland bacon. I also like to get this every time I go to Costco. It freezes really well, so typically I'll just keep one package in the refrigerator and then the rest I will put in the freezer for later use. Um, I went ahead and picked up one of these corned beef briskets for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I always like to make corned beef uh, for St. Patrick's Day and since I saw this there, it's not necessarily something I was planning on getting, but since they had it and it was a decent price, I decided to grab it. I'll probably cook this in the crock pot for St. Patrick's Day and it looks like it is, this was $14.59 uh, for three and a quarter pounds. This was on a sample today, the Columbus chicken breast um, lunch meat. And I've bought this before. This is not something that is new to me. Um, we do like it. And so we are running low on lunch meat in the refrigerator. So I went ahead and got a package of this. It's really good. We've had it before. Um, I do like to get Costco butter when I go there. So this package of four pounds of butter is, I believe, $10.99. And that's a pretty good price. Um, I do find that the butter is really good quality. Um, alternatively, I will get butter at Aldi or Hy-Vee, but I, I do like to stock up on it when I go to Costco because it is a good value and it freezes nicely. Now I will say that I would have probably got more frozen food had we had more room in the freezer. Um, we just got a half a beef a couple weeks ago and so our freezer is quite full. Um, and so, you know, once we, sort of eat that down a little bit, then I'll be able to pick up more freezer items. So one other thing that I like to get from Costco is the um, salmon. So I do realize that this is farm raised salmon and some people are opposed to that and I get that. Um, but here in Iowa, where we are a landlocked state, it is hard to find good quality seafood and I do find that we like the Costco salmon. So every time I go there, I usually get one um, large salmon filet. This uh, is $8.99 a pound. So this huge filet came out to be $21.67. So what I like to do is portion this into filets and then I will freeze it in the freezer. It freezes great and then we can use it for meals um, sort of throughout the month as we need to. Okay, I did also pick up some of the Kirkland Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I do like to get that every time I go there as well. I have a olive oil dispenser by my stove at all times and so I like to fill that up with this. It's good quality olive oil and it is a decent price. They also had pineapples on sale for $2.99 and so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. I'll cut that up and we'll eat that this week for snacks and breakfast. They did also have their five cheese shamrock shaped um, ravioli, which I've bought this before plenty of times. Um, it's kind of a seasonal thing that they have and it's fun for the kids. Usually I will cook this up with some Alfredo sauce, so we'll probably have that for St. Patrick's Day along with the corned beef. I always also like to get strawberries at Costco. so. Uh, they had these two pound packages of strawberries. I want to say they were like $5.99. I can't remember for sure, but um, they looked pretty decent. Not super awesome, but decent enough for February in the Midwest. I also grabbed a two pack of goat cheese. I have never actually bought goat cheese from Costco before, but I've been liking to eat it in salads. And then I also want to do like some fried goat cheese salads and this does not expire until June so I figure I can cut this apart and maybe work on one of them and this one obviously will not expire for quite a while. Uh, the Tyson Panko chicken nuggets were on sale and I do like to keep these in the freezer for a quick dinner for the kids either um, sometimes on the weekend or like during the week if I um, get busy and can't follow my meal plan. So those will be good to keep um, in the freezer for sort of some chicken nugget emergencies. I'm sure you can all identify with that. We have bought these before. This is the Sabatasso's um, frozen pizza. So these are like personal pan pizzas or mini pizzas. So you get six pepperoni and six cheese for, um, I think it's $9.99. So 12 mini pizzas for 10 bucks which is actually a pretty decent price. And um, 
We also keep these in the freezer for emergency dinners or anything like that. The kids like them. Connor likes um, cheese pizza and Kira likes pepperoni pizza, so that works out perfectly. It'll probably take us several months to go through this because like I said, we just don't, we don't eat pizza a lot. Maybe once a week and probably not even that most weeks. I also did get some of the Kirkland solid white albacore tuna. They had this on a sample and I wasn't planning on getting this, but they had um, tuna salad on Ritz crackers and I tasted one and I was like, oh, this is delicious. And I knew I only had one can of tuna left in the pantry. So this is something that I usually make myself for um, meal prep for lunches during the week. So I went ahead and picked up a package of this. I believe there's eight cans of tuna in there. So this will take me a while to go through, but at least I'll have it in the pantry when I want to use it. Um, I also got some Keurig cups or some K cups. So I got the Starbucks Pike Place. That is the kind I really like to get and they were on sale at this time. So you get 60 K cups for $30. And um, we have sort of a dual coffee maker so you can brew a carafe or a um, a K-cup and mostly during the week I like to brew K-cups and so having something like this on hand is really great because it is a better cost than buying like the 10 packs or the 16 packs in the grocery store. Uh, this is new. I also got this uh, San Pellegrino, the um, flavored mineral water. So this has zero carbs, zero calories. There are three flavors in there, tangerine and wild strawberry, lemon and dark morello, cherry and pomegranate. So I love sparkling water. I'm pretty much the only one that drinks it here in this house, but um, I could not pass this up. It was on sale. I can't actually remember how much it was, but it looked good, and so I thought I would try it. If you guys have tried this before, let me know if you think it's good. Um, also, the last grocery item I got was the Kirkland Sparkling um, Carbonated Flavored Waters. This is sort of like the ice. I can't remember what the brand is. I think it's like ice flavored water. And um, we've bought this before and it's really good. So there's three flavors in there, black raspberry, orange mango, and kiwi strawberry. And this is a good thing for the kids to have for a treat too, because it's sort of like a soda, but it's not. So it doesn't have any caffeine or sugar or anything like that in it, but it's just a sparkling flavored water. Um, for household items, I did get a box of the Kirkland Kitchen trash bags. These are our favorite brand of trash bags and it's the 13 gallon so it's the kind we use in our kitchen and 200 bags comes in there which lasts us quite a while and I can't remember the price on this one but it's a really good price compared to buying them in the regular store. And then I talked about this at the beginning but I did end up getting the Nutribullet Balance. So I was kind of going back and forth between this one and the regular Nutribullet that was, or the, I'm sorry, the regular Ninja that's like a regular size blender because actually the Ninja that's the regular size blender was cheaper than this. This ended up being $89.99 and it was $40 off so it's on quite a sale. Um, basically, I don't need all these bells and whistles so I just wanted like the regular like sort of quick blender that's high quality. I mean, this comes with like Bluetooth and then you can like measure your calories. Like, oh, pineapple has 37 calories. Like, listen, ain't nobody got time for that. I don't have time for that. I just want to make a smoothie. So I feel like there's a lot of functionality in this that I am not going to use, but it was on sale and I wanted a high quality blender. And so that is why I bought it. And my kids have been liking to have more smoothies lately. And I feel bad sometimes because they want them in the mornings and I don't want to drag out the huge blender. So this will be nice just to have, um, you know, I can make one smoothie in this sort of, you know, size cup and they can split it. So that will be good to have um, for that. Okay, so next I got a big package of bar soap. This is just the Irish Spring bar soap and this is the kind that Adam likes to use. So I get that, um, you know, a couple times a year. This has 20 bars in it so it lasts quite a while. Um, I also saw these stoneware bowls on sale. There's 10 that comes in there for $10, and I thought these were really cute. Um, our kids are kind of at the age where we're transitioning over from, you know, plastic dishware to regular dishware. They don't need sippy cups anymore. I actually have, I'll show you, like, a ton of these plastic bowls from Ikea. And I kind of, my thought was that I kind of really wanted to get rid of those just because my kids are a little old for those now. And I thought these were nice. 
obviously only a dollar a piece, so that's a good um, deal there, but they're very pretty. I mean, they're like solid color on the outside and pattern on the inside. I do have some similar ones of these that are like cereal or soup size bowls, so yeah, I just thought they were pretty, and I'm slowly trying to increase my dish collection as I see things that I like. I did get some Finnish dishwasher tabs. These are my favorite brand to get at Costco, and they work really well in my dishwasher. I was almost out of those, and so this was a necessity. And then Ziploc bags are something that I always pick up when I'm at Costco, so I got some of those. These were on sale this week, and I want to say this was around $10 for this box. So this is the one I like to get. You get 52 gallon bags, 50 quart bags, 120 snack bags, and 125 sandwich bags. And so typically I use all of those sizes for meal prepping and lunches and things like that. So I like to get that from there. Okay, so um, I like to get my paper plates from Costco when I can because they are cheaper there and I get a ton and I don't have to buy any for a while. We don't use paper plates a whole lot, but I do tr usually use them for the kids' breakfast um, just because it's easier for them to toss them and um, I don't know. I just usually use them for breakfast. I don't know why, I just do. Anyway, this is a hefty brand, the foam paper plates. The only bad thing about these is that you really can't put them in the microwave, but you get 220 and these were pretty cheap. I wanna say they were around $12. I was also out of my Ecofoil uh, steam table pans. So these are actually about 12 inches by 9 inches. So it's just a tiny bit smaller than a 9 by 13 pan. And I like to use these for freezer meals or like if I'm going to take a dinner to someone, if they you know, are sick or if I'm saying thank you or whatever, uh, these are perfect to make like a freezer lasagna or a freezer casserole or anything like that. So 30 come in here and it's a really great deal. I always love to get those from Costco. For myself, I also got a package of the Venus uh, Extra Smooth Platinum. This is the one with the metal handle and it comes with all the refills. To be honest, you guys, I have not had to buy razors in about 18 months because I used to be a pretty crazy couponer and I got so many free razors <laughs> from Walgreens over the years that we've actually lived in this house for over a year now and I just ran through all of them. So this is the first time I've had to buy razors in a long time, um, but these will last me quite a while. Obviously buying this big pack from Costco. I also got a package of these Clorox bleach automatic toilet bowl cleaners. So these are nice and I haven't had these for a while, but I'm glad that I saw them and got them. But you put these in the tank of your toilet like you can see here and it's basically just a bleach tab so then every time you flush your toilet it flushes bleach which is nice because it cuts down on um, the stains and the cleaning uh, that you have to do for your toilet bowls so it's been a while since I've had these but uh, we have a six pack here and we have four bathrooms so tonight I will be putting one of these in each toilet all right, so they also had some kids' clothes on sale, which I ended up getting some um, for both of my kids. So this is actually a um, Adidas like hooded type sweatshirt. Um, Kira is the size now where she can wear like a small in women's in some brands. Um, so I haven't had her try this on yet, but we'll see. It might be a little bit big, but that's fine. She'll grow into it. So this is like a very... Um, thin hoodie so it's more like a knit material than a sweatshirt material but it's got like the three stripes down the side and the adidas logo so I grabbed that for her and then I also got Connor a similar sweatshirt this was in the boys section um, he's pretty honestly he's super tall for his age so Adam is 6'4 and I'm 5'8 and we just have like tall kids and so this may be a bit big for him. He normally wears like a 10-12, but I did get the 14-16 just because it looked kind of, I don't know, it probably doesn't on camera, but it looks sort of narrow in the torso and I wanted to make sure that it fit him. I'd obviously rather have it too big than too small, but I liked it because it has like the Adidas logo down the side and as spring comes, you know, we'll need more um, hooded sweatshirts and stuff like that. So I ended up getting this for him. Like I said, it might be a little bit too big but 
um, he can grow into it. I have such a hard time like finding stuff that really fits him right because he is um, really tall for his age, but he's also really stocky. And so sometimes when I get things that fit him around, they're too long, but we'll see. I think it'll fit just fine. And then I went ahead and grabbed him two of the um, jogger pants also. And these, again, may be a little bit too long, but we'll see how they fit. I mean, um, they're sort of like a lighter weight than the pants he's been wearing this winter. So I got him a navy pair and a gray pair. I want to say these were both $14.99 each, and then the hoodies were $9.99 each. Um, I got Adam some deodorant. I always try to get deodorant when I'm there, especially for him. This comes in like a five pack for, I want to say it's around $10 or $12, so it's a really good deal. I got Murphy some of these dentist sticks. So uh, this isn't something I buy all the time, but I do like to have, you know, bones or like rawhide or something on hand for him to chew on. We're also going to be going on a couple of different trips in March and April. And so when we do that, I like to send stuff like this to the kennel with him. So he, you know, has something to do there. Okay, so this was kind of an impulse buy, but I ended up getting a toaster because the toaster that we currently have, which I can show you guys, uh, Adam and I got married in 2006 and we still have the same toaster that we got for a wedding gift. So it's a T-Fall toaster, it's a two slot. Um, it has actually done us very well through the years. I can't really complain about it. The only thing I would say is that it's a two slot toaster, which was fine when it was just Adam and I, but now that there's four of us, it's nice to have a larger toaster. And so I've been thinking about getting one for a while. And since I had the Costco rebate check and it was $10 off, I went ahead and got it. So this is the Cuisinart four slice toaster. It's um, stainless steel on the exterior, which I liked because it goes with all of our appliances. And this was on sale. It was normally $50 and on sale for 40. So I went ahead and got it just because again, I had that rewards check and I didn't feel too bad about it. I do feel a little bit bad about buying a toaster when my old one works just fine, but you know, it will be nice to have the four slot, especially when we're making breakfast or BLTs or something like that. Um, another thing that I ended up getting was the 50 pack of non-slip hangers. I bought one of these last year and we seem to have gone through them really fast. Uh, I don't think that we will need all of these right away, but what I want to do is transition Adam and I's closets to all of these and then put our plastic hangers in the kids' closets. So um, I'll be planning on doing that, but this was 50 hangers for $10. So, I mean, how can you pass that up? They're like seriously really nice quality hangers. They have like the metal hooks and then sort of like the velvet on here, like the non-stick or not stick, non-slip. So they're really nice. Um, I also got a uh, 30 pack of toilet paper, not exciting, and a 12 pack of bounty paper towels. And I will say, I almost did not buy the paper towels because I've actually been buying Aldi paper towels and I've really been liking them. The only reason I bought this is because it was on sale and it comes in a 12 pack, so I figured that would be <laughs> just nice to have um, in the pantry on hand so I didn't run out. And then the last thing that I got was this storage ottoman. So I did not realize this was there, but I have been wanting, or I've been on the lookout for one of these because we have a uh, couch up in our bonus room upstairs and this sort of gray fabric actually goes perfectly with that couch. And this will be nice because that couch doesn't have like an ottoman or a footrest or anything with it. So it will be nice to put this in front of it for people to put their feet on while they are watching TV. So this was only $30. I felt like, you know, again, since I had that rewards check, I could not pass it up. So that is everything I got from Costco this month. I will probably not be doing another haul for at least a couple of months, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.